Hey everyone, it's Cody with Meyer Woodworks. Hope you're having a good day. I wanna do a quick video showing you my pneumatic pop-up pins that I added to my four by eight foot CNC. I wasn't able to find too much on YouTube, so after I got it all up and running and installed, figure I'd do a quick video for you guys in case you are interested or wanna do this to your own CNC. It's actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, bear with me, I had to jump up here. So I have this little Harbor Freight pancake compressor. And what the first thing I did was I bought a three-way splitter because I want to leave this hose connected at all times. I do use it to blow off some projects. So it's handy. First thing you need to do, if you do want to add the splitter, add the splitter and then this connection here goes from the quick connect to the quarter inch or six millimeter hose. They're the same. So this is that fitting. Okay, and from there I have mine sitting on that shelf, obviously. So I ran the airline hose around to the pressure regulator, which is sitting right there. I just mounted it on the rail and that is the inlet side on the left and the outlet side on the right. So the outlet hose is going to come up here and connect to this P on the valve. And then you have an A and a B. Now these don't matter what side you use. What does matter is that the A, for example, is the bottom line for every valve. And I'm gonna crawl under here and explain that to you guys, because that was the most confusing thing to me. So this is A, you can see this is the line that comes out of here. And if we follow this up, I have this splitting off of here, and it follows to this cylinder right here. So this line has to go to ev the bottom of every cylinder. So you have all these different Y's and splits and all these connections. The opposite is true, obviously, for the top one. That will be split and go to all of the top cylinders. So hope that makes sense. And then once you have that ran, starting with the first one, so my first pin is up here. So I have my first airlines, they split here and they keep splitting all the way down. And then it goes all the way back to the last pin. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so here they are in action. They all pop and unpop at the same time. And all I'm doing is flipping up and down on that switch. You can add it to your controller if you want to. That's how the industrial CNC machines do it. I'm not smart enough to do that. I thought it was gonna to be too complicated. That's why I went with the manual switch. And as far as installing these in your plenum or your table, whatever you're using, what I did is just marked out a center point, made that my X, Y, zero, drilled my holes, so I just made this little diagram in Vetric and then copied that to where I wanted the pins. So here I'll show you some of my spacing. Again, I am on a four foot by eight foot table, so yours may be different if you are doing this. I set my first pin, I always reference off of my front left corner here, which is my X, Y, zero. And then you can see I have my first pin at about eight inches, and my second pin over here about 23 inches. Why I did that, I wanted to make sure if I'm using a small piece, I can still reference off of these pins. And if I'm using a half sheet, I still want to be able to reference off of this pin here, which is why I made it 23, not 24. For full length, it doesn't matter because it's going to reference off of this pin anyway. So it's, you don't really need one over here. It's honestly just kind of a wasted pin unless for some reason you're zeroing over here or somewhere else, then you might wanna do that. This one up here is a few inches away. 
This one's about 12 inches. Same thing with this one up here. I made that about 23 inches to use a half sheet. And that one all the way at the very end for the full size sheets. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's a good overview for you. And let me show you what it looks like in practical use. Okay, so I just have a sheet, small sheet of the wand board here. And this is all you're doing. Aligning it with those pins. And since I'm using a vacuum table, I would turn on the vacuum table first. That would suck this piece down to the table. And then all you do before you run your program, before you run your program, you just lower the pins. And that's it.